Hey guys, Andrew Green here. Going to do a quick video showing you how to create a loop. Easiest way to get into dot loop is through your MyKW website. You can also go there through dot loop.com. But presumably this is faster. Okay, so now we're in. I'm going to show you a very short video of how to create a new loop, how to get it set up. Uh, I will do longer videos later if anyone wants more advanced features. I name all of my loops after the client. I always put in the client type and I use an address. Obviously it's up to you how you wish to do it. So now we've created a new loop and three main areas, documents, people, and tasks. Documents I'll show you once you've set up templates this is going to be very easy because you've got all of the files here they're all ready to go. Brittany is also working on templates so she has a couple in here already that are ready to go but for now I'm just going to use my own just to show you. So we can add documents like that. Through the template they upload instantly. Alternatively you can drag and drop for files such as the MLS listing that obviously can't be in your template. And lastly you can email them to yourself through using this email address if you send anything to this email address here it will automatically upload any PDFs that are attached into your folder. So I'll quickly show you how to prepare one of the documents. So this one as I said is already templated so it is already filled in. Yours won't necessarily have this um, so if there's anything that you need to fill in you can add text here you can resize things and you can move them where you need to. Once you're ready, it's very easy to fill in the blanks. Very easy to sign things yourself. You can draw it if you wish, but unless you're pretty good with a mouse, probably easier just to use the cursive font at this point. If you have an iPad, it's a little bit easier there, of course, to to draw your signature. We're going to leave this for the buyer. So I'm going to show you here. Once we save and share, that's going to prompt who we want to send it to. We're going to send it to our client. I've already added him ahead of time, but you can do it on the go if you wish. So he can view it. We're going to include a message. And we're going to share that document with him. The document has been shared. If you look at the document history, you're going to see that we shared it with Bobby Byer, 4.25 p.m., November 14th. So we go back to our loop. So that one now is going to show up here, shared with admin, as well as with Bobby. So he's going to have access to that file now. He cannot see the rest until we share them with him. So I'm going to show you quickly that you can share multiple files at the same time. So imagine that I actually fill all of this in, but I'm not going to today. We're going to prepare where we need for Bobby to sign. We're going to save it. It's going to ask us when we exit if we want to share. We don't want to share yet. We can add initials as well. and to share two documents at once so your client only gets one email. You can select them here and then click the share button and we're going to select Bobby. He's now involved in the loop so he can simply check off his name. He can view which means he can sign and we're going to share that as well. Document's been shared so now we're waiting for Bobby. Once it comes back from Bobby this will read that it was last updated by Bobby and you will see his signatures inside. Here's all the people that have been included in the loop that you've added. You can change your role if you wish. And then quickly, tasks. We have some templates in place right now. You will probably want to do your own at some point, depending on what your own systems are. But basically, you just check off everything as it comes in. And by doing so, it will increase the complete display of what else has to be done. So here we see I have a lot of Bobby Byers. This particular one is about a quarter finished. So that's it in an
There's also one thing I forgot to mention during the class, and that's once you're ready with the file to submit it to the office, um, you're going to click the button here inside the loop called Submit or Review, and that's going to send it directly to Brittany. You can include a message if you wish, um, but that's how ultimately she's going to know that your document is ready for her. So that's going to be an important step in the process.